of Jamaican-born parents who have lived here, worked here uh, for over 40 years and contributed to this society. But I think most importantly, I am someone who is angry. Um, I'm someone who is fed up of looking at the way this country treats uh, people of colour, uh, particularly uh, immigrants. And I am someone who is here, like all of you, to say to this government, enough. This is not fair. So, the Windrush scandal is the latest in a long history of hostility towards West Indians. Ever since the Empire Windrush first touched these shores. As we all know, and some of you here, like my mother, uh, will remember, West Indians were refused homes to rent, they were refused employment, they were spat at, they were harassed. Their children were bullied at school and were told they were not good enough to become professionals. Nevertheless, they persisted. They persisted so that people of my generation can grow up in what should be a better and more equal society. They marched, they fought, they died. And absolutely, they worked damn hard. And now, in 2018, they're being told to get out. When many of them are feeling settled, when many of them are finally feeling like the British citizens that they are and always have been, they're being told to leave. They're being denied health care, being denied employment, uh, losing their homes. And for what? To satisfy this government's need for a hostile environment for immigrants. And that, for me, is one of the many, many heartbreaking things about this situation. Is that it shows how far our governments have failed to evolve. That institutional racism is still very much alive and kicking in this country. And it is still, still kicking us right here in this Home Office. So we are here today to show our solidarity with the Windrush generation. With those affected yet again by institutional racism and incompetence. With people like Albert Thompson, who finally this week has received his right to remain in the UK and will finally also receive his much needed cancer treatment. With all of the people who went on holiday to the Caribbean and were told they can't come back. With all of those who may have been wrongly deported, uh, the number of which our Home Secretary still does not seem to know. With the many organisations also that have been campaigning against this for a long time and are helping uh, those affected by it. So, for example, organisations like Praxis, the Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants, the Black Cultural Archives who are running uh, a public meeting and a legal advice surgery right now as I speak. You know, we do want to show some solidarity and appreciation for those organisations as well, please. But we are also here to show our disappointment and our disgust at Theresa May, who created this hostile environment when she was Home Secretary in 2014, when she implemented the 2014 Immigration Act, and all the MPs who voted for it, actually, at that time. Each and and every one of them... Blue and red. Yeah, blue and red, absolutely. Every single one of them should hang their head in shame. Absolutely. And, you know, the government has apologised... They've set up. They've set up a special task force. They've even started talking about compensation. But, but these steps are merely a plaster over a bleeding wound. The Windrush generation want their rights back. Absolutely. They deserve their citizenship, their jobs, their homes, their lives. These things belong to them and the government has taken them away. They deserve decisive action and not more lip service. No 
more incompetence. Absolutely. Life's not incompetence. The Windrush generation fought for us, and now it is our turn to fight for them. Thank you very much again for being here. I really appreciate it.